Yo guys, what's up? It's the Fantasy here back with another video and today the ban list dropped. I tried to upload a, a ban list video, but um, for some freaking reason I couldn't get the website. To, the kept, website kept crashing and then I got onto it and my recorder just wasn't recording proper quality. So I'm giving this another shot, um, but uh, in a different way. So as you guys know, the ban list dropped today. And today we're going to be talking, up, uh, talking about the top 5 best decks, in my opinion, to play for the next man list. So uh, keep in mind guys, this is just my opinion. If you guys have any other opinions, drop them in the comment section down below. And let me know your thoughts on this list. Okay, it's not going to be too long of a video because I have, I, have I have another upload for, scheduled for today. This one's just because the ban list dropped. So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So you guys see you guys are like probably like yo fantasy what the hell you guys said you said top five but you see six cards here yes there are some honorable and honorable mentions i will mention at the end of the video but uh this is top five right now <clears throat> um let's just take that out of so number five starting off with mech knights mech knights actually got a huge boost from this <clears throat> due to the fact that um, we can now, I mean, yes, Nibiru is still a problem, but you know, you can set, set up some form of negation before you get to fifth summit. Um, Purple Nightfall is just too nuts, nuts, nuts of a card to search any banish itself or another Mech Knight special summon any, or add another Mech Knight from your deck to hand any other Mech Knight. Um, and the fact that Colossus is now gone, Engage is gone, um, what, what else? Azathoth's gone. Um, what else? Reboot. Uh, Pankratops is also another one. Big prop. Um, what else? Uh, Electromite. Uh, you know, stuff like that. But the major one was Colossus. Uh, Thunder Dragons because... And Sky Strikers, actually. Uh, this deck had a bit, quite a bit of problem because... Um, what's it called? It couldn't search and... Sky Strikers was Sky Strikers. They just had every out. Uh, next is actually... Guru control or control decks in general. So, um, I put Guru as number four because I feel like it's an actual sleeper deck. Like, in my honest opinion, sorry guys, I, it's honest, and honestly, in my opinion, it's actually an underrated deck. And, um, I'm a salty, I'm a, a kind of, I'm a bit salty right now because of some hits on the ban list. Uh, you know, my friends know what I'm talking about. Shout out to you guys. Uh, but, but, you know, we can play around it. We can play around it. Uh, I'm still going to play that deck. Um, but uh, Guru is another good deck. Or, uh, has been another good deck. But it's just been flying under the radar. That a lot of people haven't seen. Like, um, like it hasn't been a, given enough uh, representation. Yeah, sorry. Representation to, to prove its worthiness. But Guru is, is it still an insane deck. Floodgates, you could set up Floodgates. This Guru technically didn't get hit if anything. If anything, they got a boost because Pankratops, uh, Pankratops is gone. Red Reboot's gone. You know, a lot of those cards are gone. So just a lot of back row hate. Those two uh, very impactful back row hate cards are now gone. Or limited, sorry. So you're not just gonna, I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure people won't play one in their decks. Uh. But yeah, Guru for number four. Number three, similar, but this this actually got um, somewhat of a boost again. Same with Alter, uh, same with Guru. Altergeist is uh, <laughs> insane still because uh, they didn't get touched at all. They can still play, you know, floodgates as like Guru can. They still got Secret Village. They have uh, Extravagance still at three. You know, um, again, Thunder Dragon's out of the picture, Sky Striker's out of the picture, you know, Draco's got hit, so Draco's was a really good, big problem for this deck. Um, they got a significant hit. Uh, this deck, this deck did get a significant boost, so, as well, uh, by taking care of, uh, Pankratops and, um, Reboots as well. And Triple Solemn Judgment as well. I mean, Sol Solemn Warning, my apologies. Solemn Warning, you know. More back row hate that the pot of avarice, insane. Um, yes, 
Nah, so uh, number three is Altergeist. Number two, Dinos. Yes, you guys are saying, whoa, D Fantasy or Fantasy or whatever you want to call me. Uh, it's like, yo, you know, we lost Diagram. We got Lethal Sadrim to one, but we lost Diagram. 13 Dinos? Yes. I know there's some, I know there's someone, there's going to be someone out there playing True King Dinos. They're going to find some way to break it. Who, you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. Shout outs to my boy, Troy. Um, uh, what's it called? He's, there is going to be some him, him, either him or someone. Uh, Ryan Gaskin, for example. I'm pretty sure they're going to find some way to break Dinos. But uh, that's just the True King Dino version. You know, there's, you still got shit all Dinos. You still got uh, Lost World Dinos. You know, you, you got any, plenty of other... Uh, forms of dinos that you could play um, and lights I'm um, sorry lights ones my gosh <laughs> um, uh, lost world dinos are by far in my opinion the best version of the deck coming out of this band list um, because uh, they don't play diagram you know and they didn't lose anything other than that other than diagram and now they have pot of avarice which is in with three miscellaneous insane that's so that's and you ultimate conductor is one hell of a boss monster <laughs> and book of moon at three sure <laughs> um so tyra um Ty uh oh fudge i can't even talk sorry guys um dinosaurs at number two and for number one guys i'm gonna give it to heroes man heroes heroes are insane the decks that the decks that destroyed it well not this well they, they we're pretty oppressive for this deck. Again, we're Thunder Dragons, we're Sky Strikers, uh, a little bit Sky Strikers, not too much, but because uh, they have Widow Anchor, you know, they have Afterburners as well. So uh, Sky Strikers is a little bit iffy, but Thunder Dragons for sure, because they didn't search, they couldn't search. Uh, if, even if they were to get past the no search effect, they, to manage to make it to the battle phase to attack, uh, Colossus would just protect himself and then trigger off more Thunder Dragon effects. So, again, the Thunder Dragon getting hit on the ban list was very shocking and is very impactful for this meta as well. Uh, same thing for Pendulums. Pendulums build a board, you know, it's it's like GG, you know, for this going second. Unless you play the going second deck, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen people break through four negates or five negates, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was four negates, but that's beside, that's beside the point. They got a big boost, you know. They got they got three Mali, they got three Stratos, they got Sunrise, they got you know uh, Liquid Soldier. All they got Bane, they got a Dusted Gold. This deck Konami is bring is making sure this deck becomes part of the pie chart once again for sure. In my honest opinion, this deck has got to be the best deck coming out of this next format. In my I mean this next band list. In my honest opinion, Dark Law. Dark, let me, you know what, let me see, let me show you something. I know you guys know what, know what this is, but let me, let me show you something. Okay, so, you guys, you guys see this card, hold on, let it load. You guys see this card, this card called Mask Hero Dark Law? Yeah, read this sentence. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished and said. This card's at three. There's also another card called Macro Cosmos, which is at one. This is a monster, <laughs> and it only affects your opponents. This is one hell of a card. <laughs> this is one hell of a card, and people can bring out two, one, two, maybe sometimes even three dark claws on your on your opponent's turn, or sorry, on the board, backed up with an honest neos. Yeah, okay, guys, it's over, man. Like Konami's giving this this deck so much love that I it, and and so much support. That this deck, in my opinion, is going to be the number one deck coming out of this next ban list. So yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys did, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you guys, what your guys' top five list is in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys did, thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out.